Lord, over we'll there. Call the, uh, yeah. maybe the holy I'll call you back to power it down. Uh, yeah, I know. That's mighty generous. Uh, we'll call it this. So just by, by quick way of background, um, when we when we met with you uh, virtually uh, at your at the, at the committee of the whole meeting um, to give you sort of a midterm update on the strategic plan, and we had some really good uh, dialogue there. It became clear, and, and, and you, as, as, a, as a governing body, asked that we come back and give this group an opportunity to weigh in on some of the things that, um, that, that you saw. And you specifically talked about um, the SWOT analysis and, and what was in there and the, the staff uh, product. And uh, so we're going to go through a SWOT uh, exercise tonight. And then uh, you were particularly interested in the process that we went through to come up with uh, an initial set of uh, goals uh, and objectives, and those were, you know, draft form. But um, you asked us, one of you said, I remember very well, I don't remember who it was, said, well, we want our turn with the sticky notes. So, so we're going to do the sticky notes. And we're, so really what we're going to go through tonight is kind of an abbreviated version of what we did with the uh, Todd and his team uh, over the better part of the day. But, but focus in on those two things that, that you said were really uh, important to. So we'll work way right in. And again, um, if you want to keep, that's fine. Uh, you can go ahead. Um, now my, my, my point here. Can you advance the slides? For some reason. Okay. Right. So you, you have in front of you, so I am not going to. Read this. Here's the agenda for the evening. Uh, I, I believe we're on the on the uh, on the schedule of uh, 5:30 to 7:30, and and we're going to try to uh, stick to that agenda. So you see, I have uh, allocated blocks of time. Those are estimates, and we may go longer, we may go shorter, uh, depending on you know what kind of progress we make and how much uh, dialogue. We have, but we're going to work hard to get you out of here by 7 30. I understand from Todd that there's another function, I guess, in the community function. Is that yeah. right? And, and Love it, Ann. Yep. Yeah. So we want to we want to respect that. Um, I, I I don't think we used, well, I know we didn't use this in the last time. We did use it with the staff. How many of you are familiar with Dover? Where Dover comes? 
I've used this slide for many years planning <laughs> sessions. So just just what what is that? What does that mean? What is it? Do you think that's I think it's hilarious. Company with a strategy. Oh no, what should I do? With no strategy, I'm sorry. Company with a strategy. We don't do that. Well, there's it's it's whimsical. But there's an important message, which is sometimes planning, strategy, setting a work program is as much as understanding what you don't do as well as what you do do. So that's why we go through these exercises and ultimately sift and sort and reorganize and reprioritize so that when the final document comes out, it will really have the most important things that you do as an organization. And that doesn't mean there's gonna there's gonna be a line item in the in the plan for every single service that the, the city provides, but it does mean it's gonna artic articulate those things that are really the most important for the long term success of the organization. So company with a strategy, we don't do that. It's always good to have some rules. Um, and so here's the set. Uh, Cell phones offered a stud years ago when I did that. It was before cell phones and so it's pagers. So they don't have to pay you to go for a cell. But if you have to take a call, we certainly understand it. Um, but that is avoid as much disruption as we can. The next one, because we've got a con constrained amount of time, is pretty important. So help us stay on track and stick to the agenda. And I'm going to kind of ask your permission to at least gently suggest that we might want to move on. And I've asked the chair to help me with that. Not to control this, but just to try to keep the promise of the timeline. Please participate. We really value your input and your participation. And, uh, you know, sometimes people don't want to speak up, and sometimes people want to uh, take all of the time. So I'm going to try to manage that. You sit there silently and I ask you for your opinion. Uh, and if you, if you um, begin to dominate a little bit, I might ask you to give some of those Is that okay? Um, see, first to understand, so we know a little bit. You're very collegial and cordial and all that, but not everybody in the room agrees on everything. But we hope that this meeting, and I, I have no reason to believe that it does not be. We're going to listen to each other, let them finish their thoughts, try to understand what they're saying, uh, and then, then have your own say. I like to say avoid killer phrases. I'll give you an example of a killer phrase. What do I mean by that? Well, that's just what it won't work. Yeah, we've always done it. We've done it that way. The stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Not a great idea. And you know what? There may be things on there that aren't good ideas. That's okay, uh, but the process will ultimately sit and sort those goes, goes out. There's the, the next one I love, and it's I wish this was my own invention, but it wasn't. I went to a conference around facilitation. Or Elma. This is not sesame chair. <laughs> it means enough. Let's move on. Elmo is the method that's going on. So we give everyone in the room Elmo authority. And then at some point, you know, we beat, beat the topic to death and you want to move along. Sometimes I don't always recognize when it's time to move on. So give me an help. Humor helps. Uh, this is serious business. No doubt it's serious business. But uh, it can also be fun. You know, we're talking about things that are important to the community. And yes, but, but um, keep us lighthearted, even though it's serious business. Bio breaks is needed, um, and you know where the facility are. And are there any other rules that you want? Can we sign on? So the first thing, uh, the first thing that we talked about, or the main thing that we talked about um, at the uh, at the last uh, created a whole meeting was this SWAT maker, and this was all um, developed by the staff or. We facilitated it to ask a, the, um, the staff to kind of be introspective, 
to uh, to talk about what they felt like the things that they were really good at, things that we want to leverage in order to achieve our strategic goals, weaknesses. We have to acknowledge that there are areas that we need to improve and and and, uh, and turn those weaknesses over overcome them and turn those weaknesses into advantages where we can. And then we went to threats. And that's uh, while strengths and weaknesses are primarily internal to the organization. In this case, the city. Threats uh, are, are really much more external. They are what I, with others, call maybe stay awake. What are things you worry about? Uh, what are the things that they happen to you that could really impair your ability to, uh, to achieve what you want to achieve as a, as a governing body and as a organization? And then last, we'll talk about opportunities. What do you see as the as the opportunity that 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 a way um, for Sheboygan that we can build those in strategic? So you have at your place uh, the results of that uh, that activity from from the staff. You also have at your place a blank SWAT template. These ought to all be in order that we have. Uh, we're go through. And what I invite you to do, ask you to do, was take a few minutes to think about this from your own perspective, from your individual's perspectives as, as the governing body of the city. And what is your assessment of the strengths and the weaknesses? So the strengths we need to leverage, the weaknesses we need to uh, overcome, the uh, Threats we need to mitigate the opportunities that we have. Yes, ma'am. Um, are we going to have an opportunity to sort of review the SWOT analysis that's already in front of us? I, like, I understand putting our own information into the SWOT, but I, I sort of want to digest the SWOT that you're sharing with us because mm -hmm. I, I don't know that I maybe I'm in disagreement, but I don't know that I want to agree with you. That you want what? Recreate the wheel. Okay, yeah, that's a great point. Um, so I, I'm going to say what I was planning to say and then make sure that, um, that it covers your concern. Okay. So I, I would, we don't need to recreate the wheel. We don't need to um, uh, replicate what's what's already up there. If there's already a strength that you agree is a strength, then you don't need to repeat it. What we're going to do, maybe that's the way to start, is we're going to take input from both of these groups and can consolidate it. You want to suppose missing. Yes, and, but I would also say this: um, if there are anything that that any member of the, uh, the board thinks is it a threat or is it an opportunity, you can certainly voice that and tell us why you might think that. But it's a great point. We don't need to duplicate what's up there. Uh, we want to hear your views about what's strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities, and threats. But you, if you have a quarrel or a disagreement, or even just need some more understanding of what that means up there, please say. Did I answer your question? Yes. Okay. So take a few minutes. Uh, you don't have to. You know, you don't have to fill up uh, each quadrant in the slot. Just what's important for you in terms of what are we good at? What do we need to get better at? What do we worry about? What do we hope? Make sense? I'm going to just let you work for it.
I see that both of you put your pen down on the of your district on number two, if that's what you need. Is that even a
or if it's one of something one of your colleagues has already said, we don't need to say it again. But if you want to weigh in on it in some way, say I agree with it, or there's some nuance that you want to talk about, you can certainly do that as well. What we're going to do is, and my colleague uh, is going to capture these on another uh, blank uh, template, and uh, we'll watch this build kind of as it as it goes along. So Rachel tells me she's ready. There we go. So anybody who wants to start, who wants to, we'll, and, and we'll go around the counterclockwise. Strength, weaknesses, threats, opportunities. So somebody give me a strength. I think we have a really diverse community. Diverse community. Anybody? We're not going to do this in a super structured way. <laughs> I'm just going to capture your, your thing. And again, feel free to talk. It's a human scale of community. Human scale. Human scale. So, okay, that's interesting. So, human spaces, walkability. So what are some of the other words you said? Uh, oh, you yeah, don't have to go on the interstate. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Human yeah. That's great. Who else has a strength? I am um, under threat. Um, council turnover. Um, when they come on the council, you know, they're new and they're not playing. Can we stick on, on the strengths for a, mi a minute and then we'll oh, get to the okay. threats? Okay. Do you have any strengths that you want to think about? Or I don't. I don't want to put this down. Okay, good. good. That's fine. Sorry, I don't have to see that. Okay. Okay. Could be, yeah, but I know mean, everybody would have the consensus that you've got a real strategic relationship with the human I put down that we had um, we had great opportunities, the more of an opportunity that we do have fun with tourism, but it can also be an opportunity. That's right. Yes. So you could you could very well say tourism is the strength of our of our community and organization. But we can always get better. Right. Others, we have any others that you want to get on the well, I feel like everybody else, you know, I think we're in a great location. And I think that, you know, we have we have a, a good set, a good administration and good position now. Okay, well, there's a strength. Good, good administration, good leadership. Got my something else, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a strong response to citizens' needs in all departments. We just went through it. So to see a reaction when we had all our pieces pulled on at one time. Okay, so very strong piece that came across with the fire department, the street department, the police department, all the departments. So we nobody, was, no, nobody was nobody was left all of the You know, like I said, I. Uh, I live in Dallas, so I'm, I'm maybe I miss the music pass. Just tell me a little bit about that. Uh, right under the tree. Yeah, right under the trees. Great line of women. So. Oh, wow. Right there. 40 trees on 40 houses. Not the tower. Oh, yeah. I will call this. Yeah. Well, great. It's great that you're able to say all of that. So, really tough things from the, from the city community to go through to know that we. The responders are going to respond. Conversations among the, everybody. Okay, so we yeah. mentioned, but okay. probably, yeah. probably disagree on. Yeah. But it seems as everybody's, it seems that everybody's here for the same reason. We're going to work for the betterment of the city. And not get caught up on the local items that are
other things. That could be a real strength. I work with a whole lot of city councils around the country, and there's some that every uh, every council meeting is public. Another thing you just say is uh, we don't always connect with pay. That's why we have a body. A collective thing that can do so specifically. Is there anything on the. Uh, go ahead. Keep going. Sure. Yeah, I'm okay. I have more. So, okay, so um, we are a philanthropic. Philanthropic. Uh -huh. They are philanthropic. Really organized community. Organized in the community, what's that? Um, when the community feels like a need or there's a sort of something they want to tackle, they are very organized in sort of getting it done. Whether it's examples like Peace Park, Community Projects, LGBTQ Alliance, like when, we, when there's a gap, the community organizes it. Steps up. Then. Steps up, oh. yes. Yeah. That a function of our nonprofits. We have a huge nonprofit. Yeah, I wasn't gonna put that on here, but I wasn't sure. Like, I, I think you should just say business slash nonprofit. There we go. You know, like, that's already on here. Oh, okay. All right. Any other important strengths? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have a lot of family owned businesses, small, large. Now, some of those family owned businesses are now the third, fourth generation that are starting to sell off. But it's still, it's still so as you know, we have, you've heard in our, our interviews, um, a lot of people that put small family on businesses, but also um, uh, a desire for more, a lot more bigger, uh, whatever, upscale. Okay. Any one sure. No, no quote. Uh, Fiscally conservative community. And I put that as a strength. And I also put that as a. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiscally conservative community, or is that a reflection? Does that mean the organization as well? Simply conservative city government. I think both. And both all. Community and organization. Yeah. But it's. It's the opposite side of the thing. Okay, so I guess when we get to weaknesses, you can talk a little bit more about your thinking about how those, well, what you just said, opposite, you know, there's, there's good and bad to being very uh, financially concerned. Okay, anything else that, if you look at the, um, the original uh, strength that you see that in the strengths, can I get some clarification on strategic thinking and planning? Like where? What what is that mean? Internally as an organization? Yeah, that's talking about the organization. This is the second sort of major version of the strategic plan, and they have a pretty rigorous internal planning process that leads to the development of the budget. That that's the kind of stuff they're talking about. That the, that the, that the organization Think strategically and actually you don't want to add anything. Okay, I don't know, I'm sure about that. Like you running this, I was like, Oh, no, 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 it's not about us, it's about the organization going through exercises like sure. this and trying to align resources to, to the outcomes. And then the staff institutional knowledge, what does that mean? It means that they have been here, you have a tenured staff, so long, long memories, institutional knowledge, you know, they know what's happened in the past and can apply that to the future. It's a, it's a measure of tenure. And I, I'd invite Chad or Todd to, to amplify on anything that might be, if I don't do it justice. You're doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> okay, let's go to weaknesses. Good, good organizations, like good people, are, uh, are the ones that can uh, take a little bit of self-criticism. 
So who wants to give us one week? Yes. Uh, revenue, revenue stream constraints. Revenue stream constraints. Uh, how are those those constraints imposed by others? Well, I mean, by the by, by the state. By the so there's a difficulty that sometimes you need to ask your meeting staff. Communication with employees. Yeah. <laughs> In, <laughs> internally, meaning management yeah. or or of this I mean, like you do lack of the charge. So I kind of group those together. I feel like marketing slash communication because I also feel like the weaknesses that are on the on the ones that are in front of us that are printed, like the awkwardly located between multimedia coverage, internal communication, external outreach, and inconsistent messaging. Like that all is marketing. They call all kind of like it all is right? in one. Those are like the things that are doing that are missing. But like marketing and communication as a phone is like a major weakness, right? And then here are all the things that fit in the Yeah, I think that's all on like how in our conversations that uh, you all um, came out so kind of under a larger heading uh, of um, we need to do a better job of telling our story. Mm -hmm. so, Mm -hmm. <laughs> any, any other weaknesses as you, you know, think about all the things you want to accomplish? Yes, city could be more people friendly. Okay. I'll give you an example we were unfriendly. So I would personally like to see how we replace roofs on buildings, like city owned buildings, we put solar panels on them so we can best ensure that like we're cutting costs in the long run because we have these solar panels that can feed our own buildings. But also I think we also need to invest in more electric ports for cars as those become more um, popular. Yeah. And I think especially with the whole plant coming down, I think the city's ready to move towards more green outlook. So those are kind of like we just talked about. Yep. Communications from the site exactly. heading. Exactly. Larger. So what if we need to be more conscious aware? Exactly. That, that's, there's my work that fits in weakness. Sometimes we're penny wise and pound foolish. Mm -hmm. So, oh, we can't afford to do that. But in the long run, it's cheaper if you do it. Yeah, do a well, the, the solar panels on roofs would cost more. Okay. Uh, metal roofs would cost more. But the longevity and the payback time. But if you got a you front and load the finances, so that's fine. Other experience. Doing sometimes a difficulty with that. Business traction. I have uh, educating the, uh, the uh, older citizens in Hawaii as to what's available to them. Uh, many people don't have internet. You know, they get in the Hawaii press or whatever. That there's a community that's not really a uh, Chippewa paper. Okay, so yeah. the idea is is to get so they probably know what's all available to them, but it wouldn't hurt to remind them once more what's available to them. I mean, you uh, just like say what services are available, the drop offs, the, the, all the other things that, that they might not have known about. And again, that's just basic, basic communication in the vast section of people that don't have the technology. Where if I said, well, oh, you can find it on our website. Oh, really? What if I don't have a computer? I have several people that do that. They call me up and they say, I don't have a computer. Right. They help me figure out where I need to go. And it's really easy because it's a simple But again, they need to know that they can call us. What can you call them? That's true. So I see what you're saying. But how would you advertise? So, 
So again, uh, how do you do it? Church bulletins, the, 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 the sun, the beef, the yes. other, whatever is available. It's used. It's just an item that they say uh, I know when the leaves are being picked up. Because I track that. Okay. But I don't know if all the senior citizens do, or they know that. I know I'm sure they know what's available. So then this is just a constant reminder of reading for a second. I think you gave this department does a very good job. You're, you're on the website, you know, or you, hear it, or you hear it on the radio. Maybe it just might be just take another step further and try to figure out another way to get that information into those, those citizens' hands. Whether one of the buyers, one of the repetitive things that we've heard potentially from the staff was that the lack of a robust media print and electronic in here that's focused on the building does create a set of challenges. Which is the word. Oh, but I think we captured it the way you said that that up here, but if you're really talking about. You know, some of what I'm sorry, for getting I mean, that's yeah, okay. And, um, uh, so broadly, is that we have a weakness around around telling our story, communicating, making sure that people are aware and connected. What else? I think like the uh, staff wearing more than one hat or slash fold, right? I think that's a huge weakness. Again, maybe a, an example or two. Um, if uh, you know, so we lack communication person, so someone's had to fill in on the website. We lack the nature department, someone's had to fill in on that. Um, sometimes some of those duties become sort of we put it in this bucket and now we've left it there. And it doesn't get sort of sifted out again, right? Um, I don't know if it's more than one hat or sort of reflecting on staff responsibility. I don't know exactly how to put that, but. I'll do testing. Sure. I'm just going to write, I wrote that down and then I scratch it off. Okay. But yes. Okay. So, I mean, that sort of goes to staffing. You're all, are you saying you're understaffed? Um, yeah. Well, yes. Because I, I also wrote here like under recruitment and culture. Uh, you know, sort of, these are all things that are staff turnover, old style, lack of diverse hires. I wouldn't say lack of staff diversity, but lack of diverse hires. Not the staff who are lacking the diversity, it's the hiring that we're lacking, right? It's diverse hiring. Okay, um, fine. Yeah, that, that's, I think, uh, and in terms of how the staff put it, reflective of theirs to say, we've got to do a better job of what you're saying sure, so yeah. that we can, can, can have a more diverse. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I guess, like what I'm saying, it all kind of goes back to recruitment and culture. But, so we should we put that in improvement of culture as a potential weakness? Sure. Talk about the culture side. Um, the culture sort of the, the old style. But we wrote in here. I don't know exactly what that means, but in my head, I'm thinking that sort of that unwillingness to sort of to see the other side, silo conversations um, internally, externally, right? The unwillingness to invite the right business slash organization slash people to the table. Um, that's it. Yeah, as, as I recall, as I recall the staff discussion, that, uh, it's that last thing that you just said, thinking about how we used to work at really the compartmental lines, right. but we're working very hard to undo that. Right. If that's uh, up for that, totally, right? To be comfortable in trying to communicate that. Breaking that open for you know, the old style. Great. Does that feel does that feel like a complete list there of um, like go ahead. Uh, and it's it bumps on that and I don't it's not the correct word, but I believe this is the inbred community. And it's the inbred. Inbred. And that's not the right word. Not the same as a generational problem. Well, <laughs> it's like I, I just came back from Youngstown, I don't know, went from the city of 100,000 down to the city of about uh, And yeah, because the steel mill stuff. So, so, we have a community that kind of feels entitled to all of the wonderfulness that we have, 
And I want to say you better appreciate it because not everybody is like this. And you're, you're, it's just that that push pull of they want it. They don't know how much it costs. And they've never been anywhere else to see this is really pretty good. You know, and I don't know how to say that. So a community that's unaware of their amenities, unaware of the the grass is greener here. The grass is greener. Just yeah. that, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth. But yeah. Are you are you saying that that kind of call uh, insular perhaps yeah. uh, is a barrier to attraction because uh, we're so uh, close knit? It doesn't. Uh, unwelcoming, maybe. You're not part of us. Well, I think what she's trying to say is that they, there's a lot of complaining about things, but they they, they, they they don't get it, and they haven't been outside of the boundaries of the community to see the assets that we have. Well, yeah. that yeah. also could tie back to is because we aren't telling their story. And there isn't a communication well, telling could, them how great it is, right? That could be. That could be. But, but yeah, that's, that's, it's like, be grateful, be thankful, continue to do what you're doing, and get out and dodge every once in a while so you know what the rest of the world is like. So why do we get that on the news? Well, thank you. Exactly. So, but I, I run into that periodically, and I do my best to encourage them to be grateful. Like for the most part, I just said a lot more words for one of the small bullet points on here. There was one more uh, that caught my eye to support. If that was support from the department, being one thing, I would also contend that support for the department, both well, from the budget for your staff and staff, but also just the structural, is likely to give them the ability to give the best service possible. So that's for focus on the internal IT supporting the organization. Okay, so technology kicking off. Uh -huh. Can I ask some questions of the things that are up there? Of course. So the department operate on islands. Is that the silo conversations? Yeah, I mean, is that, is, is that what, what, what something that you've observed? No, no, I'm asking, like, is that what that means, or what is that? What that is, is that what mean? it means, yeah. Amanda. Uh, the, the, the concept of an island is actually worse than a silo okay. the concept of the island is the fact that the communication between islands is so small compared to an, an, a silo that you can actually get to sure, sure, sure. yeah we might have a lot of islands huh? we do okay. and then the revenue thing i think i understood so. okay good um let's talk about brass i'll keep you awake These are external in nature, forces that in many ways may be outside of your control, but that you have to understand them so that you can uh, mitigate or uh, uh, protect the community and uh, the organization. So, Oil and jobs. Uh -huh. so, it's, 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 it's on their business relocation. That we're a big manufacturing team, and as more manufacturers leave, that leaves us high drive. But so, we're so business here. But that that yeah. that's an opportunity. But like right. right now, we're still a very big manufacturing. And are you saying you're losing your the manufacturing sector is shrinking? Well, I think yeah. I mean, it is. yeah. So that, is that the threat you're trying to describe, or yeah, more or less. When I was um, working for the school district, my job was careers. And um, the biggest employer in Sheboygan County, oh, company. the second biggest was the county. And then the school district came in after that and you know, went down and yeah, after right. that. So, you know, it, it, and Kohler is starting to ship more and more jobs to China. You know, to have the major um, 
adapted or whatever, you know, they shook in there. So um, that is hurting us. Uh, yeah, right now, construction is trades and a lot of others, because of the job market, you know, can pick up people pretty easily, but uh, it's the training part of that. that Nobody wants to take the steps to do the training to get there. They just want to you know, have to jump to get and be in there. So um, that's right. hard for right. us as a city. <laughs> it's hard for us as a city. It's hard for other employees. Would you say that, um, just speaking to that, businesses that are unwilling to train that would you say that's its own distinct threat, or is that part of the uh, relocation threat? Well, I know like the trains have a lot of the, their own trading. Okay. Um, or did I misunderstand? No, no. Um, <laughs> there are some jobs that, you know, like the IT, you know, they, they need some kind of background in that. They're, they're not going to learn that on the job. They have to come in with some skills in that. They might learn new things on the job. But, it's another word that just popped in my head. I've been, I've been fishing for it. There's a term for it. It's offshoring, right? Offshoring. Industry. I have one in gerrymandered state districts, and it didn't hit me until I went to one of the legislative breakfasts. And I looked around the table, and there was not one representative from the city of Chicago. No one lived in the city of Shoya. And that's what our state has looks like. And it's because they cut the city in half so that there, you, know, you don't have, we don't have a city representative in one of the big cities. And so that's the threat. Yeah. And the concept of that is the fiscal constraints that. Are set upon us. Physical constraints. State physical constraints. Or fiscal as in money or physical. Fiscal. Fiscal. Okay. Money. You know, I'm hearing that more and more too as I go around. Make them rounds in the cities around the country, but more legislatures seem to be more and more. Uh, what else? Any more um, weaknesses that, excuse me, we're on threats. That's the, gosh, this, this, this could be real. Internal loss of the village is part of something that our patients are targeting. So, um, so, attrition, employee attrition. Where are they going? Are they going out to because they're retiring or are they going to other territories? What, what, um, what do you attribute that? That's what I was fishing for because I know you got a reality pass. And it's one of the things that I'm going to do. Yeah, I think that's the thing. That's also that's the that's also the Yes, ma'am, you certainly can. Council turnover, um, they're on train, you know, they, they don't know what their cap is. They're, you know, up on them. <laughs> they're there at the meeting, <laughs> and, you know, they get the vote. <laughs> I know that uh, that they do get a little bit of training how to work their computers and stuff, but, you know, Robert's really to order um, departments, and, you know, I'm still struggling with who to call and when I have a question. So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I very rarely call Todd. I call probably uh, I call DPW the most. <laughs> that most of questions from constituents is you know property problems or something. Or not them in their neighborhood. So 
So there, you're, there's a, there's a real uh, long runway or a real uh, uh, steep climb, maybe if there's a place for a new member or two. Yeah, yeah, and you know, uh, we have a lot of meetings, and you know, they don't realize that that's what they're coming into is the amount of meetings that they have to attend. And, um, what did you say that like, I guess like, yes, it's ready to turn over, but we also the main threat is that we don't have onboarding and there isn't sort of a guideline of what is expected of you. That isn't written out. No, you're learning, members, is that what you're saying? Yes. All as in, yeah, you're you're learning as you go. And some of us are getting our hands up for some things and other people are getting away with it. And I'm like, wait, what's the role here? Right? So I think that's I think somewhat a fact from this moment. It's some of the burden of now you're expected to do more and get the ground running faster. I think that's that's part of it. So that we can say one of the good things about this though, it's fine where it is, but that's something you can fix. Okay. That's not outside of your control. No. Yes, but we're also all volunteers. Right, but we're like we're giving our time as much as we don't get to anything. But like we we all have full slows of us. Half the council has full time. You can take care of but that's something yeah. that the city is the organization. Sort of 
you know, it, it kind of connects back to the island thing that Tom was saying, right? The old guard is on the island, they carry that information, and that doesn't get them. Define the old guard for me. How do I, how do I differentiate old guard? <clears throat> Um, I, I think like right here we have like a sense of strength that there's staff with institutional knowledge. I don't think it's like great that staff has been here for you know for a really long time. You know, at what point if someone's done their whole career here, how many staff members do we have over 15 years? The majority. Yeah. I, I think you know and, and then it comes our medical, right? It could be both things. It could like yes, it could be a weakness. I see this as a threat, but it, it is a strength because you're retaining the staff and there is a turnover, but it's also that like that becomes a place in and that's where the islands exist. Yeah. All right. Let's go to opportunities. This is the fun part. Um, when we may not have you know, space to work, uh, but we'll capture it on the flip chart and otherwise. So when you think about um, opportunities to leverage your strengths or address your weaknesses or um, minimize or mitigate your threats. What are, what are some of the aspirational kind of things out there that you think are opportunities to make the organization better? And the community, yeah. We've, we've, we've heard several, right, already. I'll give you some hints. There's, there's, there's apparently, um, to use your example, a multitude of opportunities to improve our external communities. That's one. Maybe another one, uh, we've got an opportunity to strengthen our technological capabilities. I, I don't want, these don't need to be mine, they need to be yours. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'll go for the communication stuff. Opportunity to invest in green infrastructure. An opportunity to attract businesses here to grow our population and not have our kids on this place. Are those separate or the same thing? My brain is going to have to start a Chinese business here to put out. So, I think we're doing a good job of trying to make it takes time. Uh, we have opportunity to make the voyage more green. I don't think we spend enough time on that, or we've done enough of it yet. Green in the, in the botanical sense. <laughs> yeah. Healthier. Yeah. You, you know, we're putting a lot of apartments downtown because people want to walk. You know, they can walk downtown and shop or whatever. Um, so we have this opportunity, especially now that we're moving farther south um, to work more with the uh, with solar and uh, water and okay. I thought I, I was missing so you're talking about green and environmental sense. I thought you meant more planning better. Yeah, yeah. Well that's true. Okay, put it down there. I would say both. Yeah. I thought we should have and then right. it's in, it's in, like native to the same. Yeah. Well, we have a good forestry person now. And more solar, right. more, you know, because that saves us money also. You're, you're getting the electricity from solar energy. The forestry can save you mm -hmm. money. Yeah, we have a lot of apartments that we just built downtown right now. So that because people want to be in walking distance, they don't want to have to get a car.
Are there other uh, ideas of you know, what are some good opportunities to, to, to address some of the uh, challenges that you just mentioned? Um, I have a new opportunity of new staff and new council. Not just young new council members, because actually like you're calling us out. But um, <laughs> I, I'm saying like just new staff and new council members. Does a new council have to mean a young person? No, I hope not. Well, I, I hope not too. I thought that's why I didn't even put young in there. They're, I put question after young. On they're just referring to me. Oh, that's I was saying, yes, I'm not. It's only me. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm s
build on this, what we said is high priority action item. Those are those are tasks and are uh, the things you have to do in order to implement your goals. And so we're not going to talk at the task level today. So we're going to talk about a big, more of a big picture uh, level. You have uh, in your um, in your handout. This was um, what emerged from the, from the staff workshop. And these big headlines are the, are the, are the ones that, that um, we, we're calling the strategic goals. Practice intentional communication and engagement, strengthen government processes, advance human capital, embrace continuous improvement, build community alliances, uh, uh, make focus infrastructure investments and build an all inclusive and supportive culture. And what we, um, as we shared with you in the uh, last uh, meeting that we appeared at, as we look at this as a uh, list of priorities for the city, it, it looked to most of us as this was more principally uh, internally focused. And so we went back and said, well, what might some more community focused sorts of uh, objectives look like? And we, we had some sort of headings for that. I don't think I put it in there. But I think I'm speculating here. But perhaps some of what you saw missing in what we had from uh, staff work was kind of that uh, things that were really community priorities that then ultimately drive what the staff want to do. So, if I can move back that. So, here's the exercise. It says close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes. But, but this is, by the way, a facilitation technique called future poll. The idea is go out in your mind to a place, whether that's five years from now or 10 years from now, where you're where you want to be. And of course, you're never actually going to get there because you're going to keep trying more. But you leverage your strengths. You know, you've taken advantage of those strengths we were talking about. You've overcome your weaknesses. You've mitigated your threat. You've grabbed hold of those opportunities. Imagine that in your head. And now kind of looking back to, to 2022 when you did a great strategic plan, that's where the that's where the tide turned for the better for us. Here's the question, and you've got these sticky notes in front of you. What specific actions did you take to achieve? What specific uh, initiatives, programs uh, that that, that you said we, we, we took action and this is what we did to get us to that place. And I'd like you to write those on your little sticky notes. You've got the notes and you've got a, a Sharpie uh, and try to write as legibly as we can. It'll be a little small because we've got just that, that space. And then what we're going to do is ask you to start sharing those uh, with us. And what we hope we'll do as a part of this process is identify some really common things. So take a few, what one idea per note written as legibly as you can. I failed that test in the top. There's no uh there's no cold no other limit. There's no minimum, just the things that you think of your own specific things that we need to do. And we'll roll those up into some general concepts. I 
Do you sometimes feel like the teacher? Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes feel like the teacher? And then you fear to I'm in. It steers her a little. All right, I'm going to give a start. You don't have to stop because you're going to start here and stuff. So I'm going to need somebody to offer up one. Just one of you. Give me one of your ideas. Focus on the city's greatest assets, its employees, for rent and human capital. So I'm going to stick this up here and then ask this. Are there any other ones, any other of your ideas here that go to that idea of human capital management, taking care of our people? What's your hired and help? I have um, the staff, older and committee members, and I also have onboarding. Would that be human capital? Could be, yeah. I'm going to let you um, check me in a, in a minute. Um, after I arrange it, then I'm going to let you go rearrange it. Okay. So I would say now, based on what you got it was. So you, you would like to see one of the things that's going to make this better is onboarding guidelines for all their committee members right. and, and building. Um, Diversifying, well, really, what you're saying here is all of them, staff all members, them. All, all the persons in committee. Yeah, okay. Any more that sort of fall into this before I can? Made a concerted effort to engage more diverse more citizens. Okay, I'm going to make a make a guess that that may start something new. That's that's a good one because we've got a lot around that. Um, this is more about, um, I, I understand. So this is sort of citizen engagement and most of this here we're talking about the organizations. But. I got a new way to go. Get more help from county governments. 
Yes. Yeah. 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 Build a responsive relationship with state officials and their staff. Yeah. So this is starting to become this idea of improving intergovernmental. Yeah. What's your work with the state legislators to create a better map? Uh, no. the, uh, like, yeah. the journey. Yeah. Like, journey. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious how, how, how does that work? In, uh, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Texas, where I'm in, the state legislature draws the congressional district map, but since it's a nonpartisan, oh, no, it's all state. Yeah. 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 They're all meeting for council. Oh. So, so do we have any other ideas, ideas about improving intergovernmental rules? Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe mine would go there. Agree to disagree. We don't need to vote the same all the time, but work collaboratively. You're talking about the council there, right? Uh, well, well, no. I want to make sure I. It could understand. be with the with the county and state. All right. I'll put that up here for now. But I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me go back down here. Made a concerted effort to engage more on uh, more diverse uh, citizens in, in governments. Do you have other, anybody else have something about how you engage with the community that would be a, a concrete step that we could take? That would be communication. That would be responsive. So, yeah. 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 Created a communications department, yeah. which, don't yeah. let me put words in your mouth, but yeah. if you had that, would it be that department's role to drive more engagement, or is that or set of those or those completely separate? Well, meaning one of the things I looked at, right? Yeah, one follows the other. Yeah, I would say, like you're saying, that the first one is the goal, but the second one is the team that would help implement it, but not alone, right? Yeah. Um, I'm looking for a more diverse and rich culture kind of thing with the engaging people. So I will do that again. Can you right. at least can move around? Because here's communications then. Well, I have a question. Who's got control of this? Okay, I'm going to read these out and then you talk about it. Yep. It says internal marketing is key. It says open communication, both yeah. external and internal, or internal and external. Yeah. And yeah. invite business organizations, people to the table for external projects, Slash conversations. It's all, it's all tied with the same. Like, we have to have communications to have that happen, right? It, it could it can't be the the directors of say public works or city planning that have to also on top of that wear that hat and get those people. If you get somebody that's helping them out to sort of recruit and and continue engaging and supporting those um, communications. Does this perhaps marry this? Yeah, I oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. yes, that makes sense. More ideas. Any ideas? All right, that's fine. We'll take one. Where we go? Implemented a continuously uh, reviewed employee handbook. Yes. So where where, where do we that go with you and Cal or does that go somewhere else? I can see it there because the rest of mine are going to be. <laughs> okay. Well, well, let's go that way. What else you got? Oh, 
so that there is a standardized way that their yeah. interactions happen right. when there's a certain work and yeah, that needs to be done the same way. Yeah, and workflow content, yeah. Co codify inter interdepartmental process. Important. Okay. What else? One other. I have one that provided financial incentives for downtown business on the board. Okay. So that's kind of economic development. Yes. Right. Provided dollars and set the monetary incentives yeah. for downtown business entrepreneurs. Downtown. Part of my vision is more vibrant than other economic development ideas. So that's sort of an, an inclusivity test. Yes. Right. I'm going to put that between the capital for now. But that's part of the real word for organizational culture. Don't be shy. You've all got most of them. Mine is best in solar panels on all of our public building rooms. So we like infrastructure. Yeah. I, I don't know if everybody uh, saw this. Invested in solar panels on all public building roofs. So as we've been talking about it today, that's sort of an idea around green infrastructure. I just write like no islands. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I probably, probably put it where you want to put it. I, I, I would probably put it here. But somebody want to write that down? Just, <laughs> no items. Does everybody remember what you mean by items? They make the distinction between what I call silo and odd call island. To say islands are tougher to, to deal with, but the silos are tough, tougher to deal with. But I hope I'm not going to go into the mountain, I'll be in your account. Islands are working. The problem, as I had said earlier, and Amanda was uh, correct, silos are individual you know, plans, as an example. The problem with an island is you have its own culture, its own language, it's separate from everyone else, and communication is very difficult. So it, it's a lot different than a silo. So all these things here, at least I, I, we got to we got to bear it, um, eliminate these islands, and maybe some of the things you do to do that is to have point handbook. You know, those are sort of tasks, yeah, all of are and making sure that processes are documented so we all do see that it's the same way. Same welcome. What else you got? What is that? What is that? That was a note that was quite Did he get to the islands and no islands? I feel like he has a question. Really? Yeah. The last five years. That's what we're doing this project. I feel bridges. I'm going to refer to you. Okay. The question is. You know, what were the results from the last um, this folded in? We certainly read it and, and uh, digested it, and, and in fact, um, as we've been working on that idea of um, sort of internal goals versus external goals, we borrowed some of the material out of that document because they were good ideas. Okay, so the last five-year plan that was totally accomplished or wasn't accomplished at all? You know, or you know, it, was was totally, it, it was probably 80% accomplished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the yes. stuff that was left was beyond our control. Yep. It was actually not. <laughs> yeah. I did not back. Yeah. Any more? I'm going to put that on here. Maybe uh, revisit the 
strategic plan? Yeah, periodically, you might say. This. Um, yeah, we talked about at year three of you know looking at it and the opportunity to maybe do a course correction because who knows where the market and where anything will be three years from now. So that's that was kind of a the plan and that's kind of built into the contract to kind of give us the framework to do that. To to reevaluate it. Yes. Yeah, and I call it a course correction because who would have thought of COVID and things like that. So anything can happen in our community, or new new technologies, new 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 you know new opportunities. It's just that you know I get hard tickets all the time. Okay, we can write a ten-year strategic plan, but you get beyond much more beyond three. The having years are more and more speculation than are. That's my question. Because it was a thought three years ago. Yeah, I think that's a strategic plan three years ago. That's probably could be right. Because they didn't look at it here. No, no, no. I'm thinking three years ago. All the things that happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Take this thing over. I have a update for the vision. We have the vision up here, but we don't have the vision that's over here. We've actually drafted some of those yet. They're not final, so we can't work about them. But is anybody it's like this thick and it makes it work. It also tells us to be physically responsible, like I'm tailored next to Like there's things in there that it says that don't need to be said out loud. Um, that should be sort of standard. Uh, but I think we should revisit it. Let's see if you can take it. Take fiscal responsibility. Constituents will look at it and go, well, they're not. They're not. Well, no, but most, <laughs> mission, most missions don't. Yeah. Don't say that. It's it, it's what what is our what is this the organization's duty to the community, and then that gets sort of laid out in the in the stairs or in the strategic plan or like it doesn't. Um, I don't know. I, I sort of view it a bit different, mm -hmm. but we can. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. Um, typically, as she said, a mission statement talks about what our purpose is, what are we here to do, and who are we doing this for. Yes. Thank you. Protect our leadership. Oh, good. Yeah, that's great. The old data. So let's see. Where do we find the green? Yeah. So maybe it's not infrastructure alone, but it's in, in environmental awareness. Okay. our roads have bike lane capabilities? Work our roads have bike lane capabilities. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Work our roads to make so like, yeah. bike lane capabilities. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which I think I'll put some words in your mouth, but um, there's sort of a concept now in urban design called complete streets. Yeah. Is that they, yeah. Yeah, they make provisions for, you know, vehicular traffic, yeah. or congestion traffic, bicycle traffic. Yes, yeah. yeah. exactly. Okay, there are some. Yeah, there are. I, I used uh, the bike lane. Okay. Capital asset stewardship. Depends on where you are. the point. We are in Duck Yard or behind. Trying to catch up. Yeah. 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 Certainly, the uh, hard asset streets, sidewalks, utility infrastructure, all the way to society. Okay. 
Well, she wanted to be as pop in the head. That came up a lot in conversation. That's a goal that's not necessarily a What's this one say? Oh, it's my business at car stations, car charge stations. That's more like a green. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I'm going to give you a sign. What I'd like you to do is, this is how I do it. But I want it to be your district. So I'd like you to get that kind of work together. Look at all of these ideas. And the reason I've got them in my attempt to really reflect your intent. Number one. So make sure you're comfortable with how we approved it. But then I want you to name each one of them with an expression that will uh, go. So, for example, just to use what we just talked about, if this, if these are the right things that we have here, invested in solar panels on all building roofs, uh, in, uh, incentivize businesses to have car charging stations, protect our landscape. Our goal would be something like to. Uh, promote environmental sustainability or something like that. I mean, I just made that up. Do you hear yeah. that? <laughs> Which is, this is exactly what we did with the staff. We said, all right, got all these ideas, and what are we going to call this stuff? So what are we going to call this stuff? So, again, so if, if you don't mind, get up and work together, talk about it, and you may often happens as you do that. Like, you know what else in here, the bottom in here, right off sticking off stick it up. Okay? Come on, get it at once. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> no, oh, all right, all right. Yeah. That's correct. Right. <laughs> this is an opportunity for you to, to, to be that collegial cooperative. I'm good at that. I'm back from I just you. Sorry, Barb. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're I have, me out. I have breaks. Okay. <laughs> In case you go too fast, I can throw a break out. Oh, okay. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. My job. <laughs> we'll add to it or take away from it. That's right. That's the idea. Exactly. You're good. <laughs> This is the informal. Very nice. Very nice printing. She definitely follows the uh, you know how clear handwriting right there, directions. Zayner blows it. Yes, that was it. Oh, the most pens that you put the kids learn how to write with. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Intergovernmental yeah. cooperation. What is that? Yeah. 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 Improve it, strengthen it, blow it up. Strengthen it. But if you establish, you can start. Establish. Yeah, like we have nothing. Yeah, there's some. So we just where? really need. Where? Well, but it's let's look it has to be yes. it has to be that's one action, which is established. Right. That's how if you county reps in the city, we have no I mean I do need with my county reps. I don't know about yeah, that. I need with my county reps. I don't want to know if I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't want to know if I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't want to know if I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't want to know if I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, you gotta do something. Yeah. So you I don't know. I don't eat. Um, How do you that is an, that is an, an activity to implement something bigger right so so um, and it could this is very simplistic but it could be improve internal and external communication that may not be as, as sexy as we'd like but then what do I need to do to do that? Create a communications department, uh, develop an internal marketing team. Mm -hmm. so, you see what I'm saying? Those, 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 are, those are implementing those, what we call initiatives. 
How did you? I just said, um, including okay. the turtle next term. Not, not particularly creative, but that's it. <laughs> All in favor? You <laughs> don't have to do that. Any opposed? <laughs> I heard that's the higher. Well, that's kind of real red eye flies from Chicago to Dallas. And that's one of the so you have to go in right there. What time is your flight? I just have to in the morning. Oh, yeah, so you want to be close. It's already on here. So <laughs> yeah, on this. <laughs> I, I, I know my way like, with my eyes. I didn't did that to clarify what I was trying to say. Okay, hey, you're doing good. Where do you want to go? Is it encouraging us? It's all right. You got one, two, three, four, no problem. Five minutes. Okay. So, but you were getting close on this one. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't an active verb. I turned around. Oh, stay away because it's engaged. 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 Well, that gives credit to the employees over right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, in hand. I think you like that better. Develop. Develop. Are you in hand? That's, I would be okay with that. How about enhance and clean employee relations? We could do that. I, I think that the, the things go, go beyond yeah. just it's employee so relations. I think yeah. there's a bigger, kind of deeper. Oh, are these part of that too? They are. They are. Yeah. If you agree that they are, I have to have to be more than one. That's why I like that. So it's going to diversify. It has to grow. Hire a new agent. Get, so get somebody in charge. Yeah. Focus on the asset. Onboard yeah. everybody that's involved in, in uh, governance. And this engage our employees in decision making. So all of these things deal with how you develop and deploy the If we say invest in growth, it's not going to be a problem. You can move it. That's fine. That, that, yeah. my, that's fine. My, my, my yeah. placement there. I've already got one. Great, great I don't think that can go here. Well, the, the hand, no, I suppose that is more of a This is, yeah. yeah. This is a what is this? Okay, now let's focus on the okay. grow, uh, uh, grow uh, and, uh, what did you say? Grow, grow, okay. invest and grow. Invest and grow. Yes, I don't want to work for that. That's on that. The eyes have it. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> 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 <la
See, I don't think protect our extra has anything to do with solar. Yeah, no, I don't think it's more of like a part of the thing. Oh, it's an environmental thing. Yeah. 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 But this is an environmental thing, right? Well, I don't want to build on our lake shore. I don't want the beach to store up. I don't want to. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. okay. Okay. So, so, can we put that over with capital assets? Yeah, I mean, sure. you're investing in your building, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the bike, well, the bike trail, the bike trail, stay over there. Yeah, why? Well, the bike can be on both sides, really, because you're investing in bike, you know, like bike type things, and you're just adding a bike running on the road, too. and also more. Than so I wonder like if what Dean was saying before about that. That's, that's yeah. primarily infrastructure and asset management. It's also got a strong, um, um, I don't want to say subtext, but it's uh, working for it. another aspect of it, which is the green infrastructure, right? Unless <laughs> it's itself, but the So it's the Civic is exactly cooperative. So, were you thinking about? No, I'm not oh, the I'm okay. talking about uh, not overbuilding, taking away our beaches. Uh, when we get an opportunity to improve on our lake shore, when something goes away, that we can improve on it and protect our lake and our shore. Well, it's, this would also be also, also include this, um, you know, our, uh, our marina. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Okay. So. So this is all eco green. Well, I don't know. Now it kind of looks like half the less stewardship, which right. doesn't fit in. And it, should it. that go here? Well, that's kind of yeah. Well, oh, is it? Just because really? I guess at least the way I wrote it, that was strictly not what she said. So okay. Okay. Is okay. It's green is going to be the more very policy behind it. How about this would be more? Um, this is our gem right here. Right. This is our gem. Good stewards of our land or uh, land stewards. I would just say lake shore. 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 Embrace like most of the time. Embrace like most of the time. Embrace, that's a word. Embrace. Embrace. Okay. Are we hearing the embrace like short stewardship? Yes. Everybody agrees with it. Good not to have to worry about that. All in favor? So the category you're coming up with are the color headlines here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got one, two down there, and then one, and up, one there. up here. Yeah. This one, it's this one, which is Is it more about eco growth? Is it more about asset management? Okay. Okay. Can we put it with the economic development? Yeah. Well, that's a great point, yeah, though. If, uh, Maybe you, you know, if you want to attract um, investors here, you've got to have a big investment. So, we'll have a look at 
the infrastructure didn't begin to take yeah. on there. Yeah. 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 That's over to transfer station's gonna be. Yeah. Oh, sustainable. Right. Yeah, that could be that could be a That's older in the day. <laughs> Amanda, yeah. we're going to move your invited business and organizations to the table for external projects, etc. We're moving it to communications internal. Our budget, nothing up there on that. 
put it on here? Is it all going well? Is it on here? Y'all did this one, so we're, is it on here? Okay. Uh, well, I think the three of us do a little reflecting. You're in the same boat with us. Well, and and the infrastructure stuff is DPW. And what would you say? Like, tell me what you would say about what would be something that we should say about that. Continue to like invest in the infrastructure related to the state of the fire department. So like if I feel like that would be that would that be under like I'm all public buildings. Yeah. It's not really a public building Well fire state. But yes it is. Yeah but not a truck. No. Hundred thousand dollars off of how much? Nine hundred thousand? And up. But we're saying increase sustainable infrastructure. What if well that might be investing in a maybe a natural gas fire truck in the future. You know. I assume some of these would apply to that, like even the roads as well. I don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is because we're in here in your space, this isn't specifically just to like that it's to all the departments that live in this building. No, it's I, all I understand that. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that, I mean, when you look at our budget, three quarters of our budget goes to police, fire, and DPW. Is that it? The way, the way I see, I've seen Sun City kind of deal with this issue that the chance talking about. Often you'll see very specific public safety kind of priorities. Another way to do it is, um, and we don't have to fill out the details, but if you want to capture it, one way to think about it is we want to have operational excellence or operational efficiency. Or then, and then, you know, then that really cry organizational efficiency, I don't know, but that would apply across all departments as opposed to singling out. So, so David, and I don't know that we want to do that, right? I don't. Is that something we want to? Do? I don't. I, I want, want to do that. That's a, yeah. That this should encompass the whole city. So no, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying it should. We don't want to call out a specific department. No, we want it no. to be everybody. So Amanda, what I what you heard me say is I'd like to see the city as the gold standard of operation. Uh -huh. So that really means that we're we are the premium of what we do. People should look to us because we have a limited, finite revenue. Right. So everything we do, no matter what it is, mm -hmm. has to be as efficient as possible, okay. so that we spread the dollars as as effective as possible. So that's just another way to say it is the gold standard of operations. What? How do you define operations? It's everything that we do. Snow removal to, you know, cutting trees down or you but know, is, internal external. Is there? Should we have some sort of discussion about the budget though? Like how that is being, I mean, I know that's a hot topic for us as a unit, but specifically, a lot of us don't know how the process works on this. Maybe I should, I don't know how the process works. I'll speak for myself. That's one of our core and, values, and, the stewardship. Right. But and then how that gets parceled out. That's goes to, part of the structure that we put together for aldermanic training. Okay, so then it should say specifically on that sheet, not just onboarding, but also budgeting, right? Where did I it? Onboarding guidelines, and our budget. Under just so we, we had on the staff um, uh, listing demonstrates strong stewardship, and it included things like sufficient stable revenue sources, strategic funding, and long range planning. Um, Continuously evaluate effectiveness. No, I kind of want to add maintain organizational efficiency. I don't know that I need to go to gold standard, I'd be happy with silver. <laughs> so maintain organizational efficiency. Do we want to add that? Or is it apparent already? Do we? Yes. Let me make a do we have are we there? I mean maintaining it sounds like we're there and we want to stay there. I, I think we're pretty bloody close to silver. You could say advance. Really? Are we? Yeah. That's great. Right. Right. I I've just come back from this down the road. Yeah. Yeah, but you just went to a community that had a hundred thousand white twenty thousand. Do you think of yours for that? 
You want to compare us to a kind of city? Oshkosh. Oshkosh. You, can't even, Oshkosh. Oshkosh. you can't even compare us to that. You have to compare us to like Wausau. Or yeah. Iowa. Because yeah. Oshkosh, Oshkosh has a university. university and there's a lot of university influence. Yeah. There's a lot of incoming money that's not yeah. there. I mean, if you compare us to Wausau and Oshkosh, then we are Wausau and Fond Wausau and Fondland, then we are still sober. Can we give it to them? I mean, Fondland. Oh, Wausau is a dynamic Let me make an observation in my mind. If I take this group, I'm calling these goals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I look at what came out of the staff, and there's some overlap, but didn't we just do it in a gross number? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's too much. That's too much. Well, I think their um, last one that invest in growth human capital yeah, and then I mean, advance human right. capital, I mean, it's just but, the but words. Even, but yeah. even if we took those that are clearly overlaps, um, we still got too much on our plate, um, in my opinion. So my and my uh, ten is about as high as I go. Um, I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> um, give us a chance to try to integrate all of these. We may wordsmith them a little bit, but to cover all of the stuff uh, uh, in, in, in a more safe way. Sure. Is that okay? Sure. And, and we'll we'll write down something that goes to uh, you know operational excellence or something like that, so we don't lose that idea. Okay, I'm not going to try to worst it here. I mean, when we're when we're talking about sort of some of these things that are on our slot or up here as a vision, we be mindful of words. Like, I know I said old guard, but like, don't put it on. Right? Oh. Don't, don't put old, I don't want, like, no. old, young, you know, opportunity should be. Oh, 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 I see, yeah, older. Oh. Right? And then the, the diversity of this, it isn't like the people themselves that are here or the people that are recruiting, it isn't their responsibility. It's the responsibility of the organization to, to think strategically. Sure. Right? Yeah. Okay. We, we, I know so, that's just word spinning, but it's no, important. It's important to word spinning because it's going to be a. It's a, going to be public. Yeah. Right. You know, even on this, we had similar ideas that were, you know, duplicates, and we uh, we squashed stuff together and tried to make it. Um, well, then write it in a way that was accurate, but not. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. PC, DI, whatever you want. Yeah. So, so we'll we'll take that as far to do is to make it a, a first run at that, and we'll what we really in terms of our project plan. Once we've got this, it's our job to sort of put together the draft strategic plan. We're really very very close to that, just by the addition of this material and trying to work it in what we've already got. Um, I think we're close, and uh, I'll ask Todd uh, to just sort of. Validate at least uh, this uh, observation or expectation. We're gonna we'll run that by the staff first. This Once they've question. seen it, um, um, clean it up, get it ready to go, and put it in front of the review this draft plan. Is that what you're thinking about? Oh, it sounds really good. So good work. Yeah. Oh, did you got something out of this? So we have the question with the question. Yes, I'm sorry. So seeing as we have exhausted the agenda. <laughs> or, the, or the agenda has exhausted the agenda. Exhausted. Exhausted. What's the big second is all in favor? Nice. Pause. There was time. That is the truth. We are out of here. <laughs>